I'm going to be going over 14-4 digital quick check right now. So um, I'm guessing when most of you saw this screen pop up, you were like, what's going on? And um, it's actually a much easier problem than it looks like. So what we need to do is we have X's on three numbers. We have X's on three and one eighth. We have X's on three and one fourth. And we have one X on three and a half. So I am going to um, kind of go back and forth. I'm going to attempt this at least. Um, I've never tried this, so hopefully it works between my whiteboard and the problem. So those were the numbers that were on the quick check um, problem. So let's go back one more time. Yep, right there. There are three X's on this one, four on this one, and one on that. So really, <clears throat> there were three X's on that. Um, there are four X's on three and one fourth, and there is one X on three and a half. So really fancy talking, they group those together, and then they would, then they added them together. So that's how they found um, the total for this question. And if you look, it doesn't really matter. All the answers are the same. It wants to know which one had the correct groupings. So just make sure you pick, let's see, three and one fourth needs to have four of them. Three and one eighth has three X's, three and one fourth has four, and three and a half has one. So that is the correct answer. All right, so we have the same graph um, already, um, but this one says the equation shows the difference between the greatest and the least wingspan. So um, look at your graph and which number is the biggest? Three and a half is the biggest, the greatest. What is the least? Three and one eighth. So I have, and actually I really don't even need to solve this. All I need to know is that one, I'm subtracting because it said difference, which is right here, difference, which means subtract. And I'm doing the largest, the greatest, minus the smallest. So it has to be written this way. You always have to start with the biggest number first and hit next. All right, again, we have difference, which is diferencia in Espanol. Um, get off of there. Um, greatest and least. So here again, we have three or one and three fourths is our greatest for this problem. And I'm going to subtract one half because that is the least. I'm gonna show you my whiteboard. So this is how I started it. Remember, always write problems vertically or up and down when you're adding or subtracting fractions. After you write it up and down, you need to check your denominators and see if they are the same. They are not the same, so I need to make them the same. Knowing my math facts helps a lot. I know I can turn this two into a four by multiplying two over two and I will get the answer of two fourths. That also helps if you just know your equivalent fractions to one half. This top one I don't need to change at all. I'm just gonna draw an arrow and write it like that. So really, I don't need to worry about any of this stuff right now. Do, 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 do. I am going to subtract one and three fourths minus two fourths. You subtract the numerators. Three, take away two is one. You keep the bottom the same. Fourth, one, take away nothing. There's no whole number here, is one. 
So my answer is one and a fourth. So let's go over there. One and a fourth is a choice, so that makes me feel good. And I will go on to the next one. This is a tricky question <clears throat> for a few reasons. One is all your, a lot of your fractions have different denominators and it's asking for a combined weight. So if you think about a combined weight, that means add up all the X's. So technically I have one half plus three fourths plus three fourths plus, I'm just gonna stop there for now. I'm just gonna add those first three X's and show you my board. So those are the first three X's. Luckily, I know that, I know my equivalent of fractions, and I know that one half is the same as two fourths. So I'm just gonna write it like that. Now, since they all have the same common denominator, I can add the tops. So two plus three is five, five plus three is eight, eight fourths. When I would simplify that, and you can, if you need a visual, you're doing this problem, is two. So right now, with these three X's, I already have two. All right, so two holes so far. Now, if you look here, one is a whole, and I don't really need to do any um, fraction adding. I just am I'm adding holes. So one, two, three, four. So go back to my whiteboard, two, and then if I add in those four holes, I'm at six right now. So that means definitely D is not going to be our correct answer. Now I'm going on to this one, one and one fourth. I have one and one fourth, and when I counted up all the X's, I had seven of them. So I'm going to do this math problem, one and a fourth times seven. So we have to do a few things before we can even start to solve. First one is make this improper. Four times one is four, plus one is five, so five fourths. And then you put seven over one. Now, um, I look to see if there's any cross canceling I can do, and there is not. So I'm going to go ahead and just multiply across, and I get that answer. Well, I need to simplify by dividing to get my whole number. Um, I use eight. So this equals eight and three fourths. So right now we are looking at these e right here, oh, right here equaling six. Then when I add in this one, that's another eight and three fourths. So Six plus eight and three fourths equals 14 and three fourths. So let's look at our answer choices right now. Right now I can see that this one and this one and this one are all not going to work. So even if I went ahead and finished solving it, I know A has to be my most reasonable choice. And that's the one I'm going to go for right now. This last one, it says how many kittens were weighed in total? Just remember, each kitten is an X on this line plot. So when you count it up, all your X's, you will get 19. And then you are ready to submit. Make sure you check my work. I don't wanna have made a mistake. Um, so work along with me and message me if you have any questions.